Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech and I'm going to set up and review and show you how to use the Samsung Gear Fit. And with a special app, it will connect to any phone that is Android. It counts your steps as a heart rate monitor. It's dust and water resistant, so it's a perfect watch for on the go. So if you're jogging down the street, you can send a text or read your text messages while even stopping the jog. So let's go ahead and open it up. I played with it for a couple weeks and make sure I know how to use it. I'll hold the button down to power it on, by the way. Just that button right there. Just hold it down for a couple seconds and it'll turn on. There you go. So let's go ahead and set this up. Go to Bluetooth. All right, and so if you, if you have another smartwatch, it's probably best to uh, unpair it. So let's go unpair my other LG R watch. So my phone doesn't get confused. And make sure your Bluetooth is on, obviously. Next thing you want to do is go to the Samsung App Store. Now if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy phone, I'm going to show you what else to do. So if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy phone and your phone is Android, you want to skip this step and I'm going to show you after this, I'm going to show you what app to get. So. For Samsung Galaxy phones, you want to download the Samsung Gear Fit Manager. Make sure you get the Samsung Gear Fit Manager, not the Samsung Gear Manager. Two different apps. Let's install. If you don't have a Samsung Galaxy phone, don't worry. You can go to the Google Play Store, Gear Fit Manager for All. It's $3, but at least you don't have to get a $700, $700 Samsung Galaxy phone. And here, this is the most important thing. You don't have to root your phone. And there's no ads or anything like that. But however, you do probably gonna have to go in your settings, the security, and click on unknown sources. And make sure your phone is up to date to um, Android 4.2 or you know, later. You wanna go to settings. Next, you wanna go to security. And then click on unknown sources, hit OK. And then you want to uncheck that after you download it. And then you want to go ahead and download this app. So now what you want to do is click on your Gear Fit Manager. Once you're into your Gear Fit Manager, go on and go ahead and hit scan. And it should find it, Gear Fit, there it is. Click on that. Hit OK, hit OK, and if this doesn't work, you might have to reset your either your watch or your phone by holding down the power button for three, um, 30 seconds. And you want to agree, and no thanks, and... And I wear my watch on the left side. My left. Close. Okay. There it is. Now I'm going to talk about the button for a little bit. Uh, when you press it, it'll turn off the screen. When you press it again, it'll wake up the watch. When you press it and hold it down for two seconds, it'll give you this option to power down or restart. And then when you hold the button down for about five to seven seconds, actually it will reset the watch. So if you have any issues with your Bluetooth not connecting to your phone, then I would uh, suggest holding down the power button for about seven seconds to reset your watch. Also, you could program this button for a shortcut to any app. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit settings. Go to, scroll up uh, right here. Double press, click on that. And let's do media. Let's do uh, media control. So that's what it looks like side by side with my LG R watch. It is a lot smaller than my LG R watch. It pops right off, and it is interchangeable as well. So you can just replace this for a different watch band, which is pretty cool.
and goes on pretty fast. Here's the uh, charging dock it comes with and it takes a micro USB. So you just plug it in right here and you line it up with the charge port connections right here. This is the heart rate monitor, that's the charge port connections. And you see these grooves on the side right there? That's where it locks in. So you just line it up. Just like that. And you have to charge it like that. And I'm going to show you what settings to get the best battery life. So you want to go to wallpaper and you want to go all the way down and the best and since it's an OLED screen with OLED screen um, the best background to have this you know save battery life is a black background so those uh, pixels aren't active so it saves battery life and let's go ahead and change our display and brightness and not kick it down a notch so right there is still visible and right there right there you can't see so you can set it at two which is visible or three which is really visible so I'm gonna set it at three and I usually get a full day's battery life so like seven o'clock in the morning only until about like nine nine o'clock at night and I'll charge this watch with my phone alright so let's go ahead and test it out so here's my notifications and didn't get any yet uh, control my music hit play all right, that works. So let's go ahead and hit forward. There, that works. It just takes a couple seconds, I guess. So if you have a Bluetooth headset, this is a perfect. So while you're jogging down the road, you could just ch change your music. Pause. Raise the volume. Lower the volume. And let's get back out of that. Settings, change your clock. This is a good one, your event, calendar events. This one counts your steps, this clock. This one gives you the weather. This is just an analog clock, this one. I can rotate the screen. You have to turn off the Bluetooth settings at night if you want, or if you want to conserve extra battery life, you can turn off the Bluetooth settings, and then it's just basically just a standard watch and it counts your steps. You could block apps and notifications, so while you're sleeping, you could block, you know, so you won't be notified. And this thing vibrates when you're notified. It doesn't beep or anything; it does vibrate. You can set up your profile for your health and fitness. You set up your privacy pin lock. Factory reset your watch if you're going to sell it on eBay. Find your phone. Which is pretty cool. In case you lose your phone. It works up to like 25 feet. And here's your uh, apps I downloaded. So here's the phone app. I'm going to demonstrate it. Contacts. Click on A. You can even call out your contacts. It takes a second. So this is how you receive a call. Can you hear me? Yeah. I hit the red button to reject. And then I can um, send out a text message saying the reason why I'm rejecting it. And put down, sorry, I'm busy. Now to check your heart rate and your steps, you just scroll all the way down. 
Got the timer, stopwatch, sleep mode, catch your steps right here. It even uh, counts your cal miles, calories burned, running, walking, cycling, heart rate monitor. I do. It works better if you do it like this. I found out. So when you hit start. A light that comes on. So I'll go ahead and hit OK, and you'll see that light that turns on. So that was my review, my setup, and how to use the Samsung Gear Fit. I think it's an excellent watch for anyone who likes to cycle or jog and stay connected to their smartphone. And let me know what you think. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to send this video to anyone on Facebook or G, and you think they may be interested in it, go ahead and click on the share button below. And if you want more tech reviews like this, go ahead and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Later, guys.